one of my viewers sent me some exercises that uh, with push down automaton that use a different notation than the one I'm using in my other videos. So I'm showing you this other notation by converting this grammar into a push down automaton that uses that notation. So I'm starting with three states, which are Q0, Q1, and Q2. While Q0 is the initial state, and Q2 is the final state. Now there's a transition from Q0 to Q1, where we push something to the stack, and namely the start symbol, and the a dollar, which here is the, the bottom symbol of the seller. And, um, well, we start with an empty stack, so we have to push that first, and then there's another transition from Q1 to Q0 to Q2, where we pop those seller bottom symbol. Now there is for every terminal symbol, there's a new state. So there's one state for the A, one for the B, and one for the C. And they are all constructed in the same way. There's a transition that pops the A from the stack. And at, if that's done, there must be a symbol, there must be an A read from the input string. And that's the same for every one of those three states. So for the B state, we have to, we have to pop a B from the stack and read a B from the input string. And for the C, the same. We pop a C from the stack and we read an, a C from the input string. And now there is for every one of the three uh, non-terminal symbols, there's another state. So there's one for the B. Oh, the, the, the colors just looks as too close to the other one, so I'm... Uh, this one looks different enough, I guess. So there's one, one state for the B, one state for the C, and one state for the S. And to every one of those three states, there is a transition which reads, which pops those symbol from the stack. So here's one that pops a B, one that pops a C, and one that pops the S. And now we add some transitions depending on the rules. So for the rule S expands to ABC, there will be a transition from those S um, state to Q1 where we push or where we write the symbols from the right hand side of the rule onto the stack. So it's A, B, C. And then maybe it's, let's take some different colors. Then for C, we have one rule C expands to C. For that, we add a transition that pushes a small C onto the stack, and for C expands to AS. We push AS, and then for, for B expands to B, we add another transition that pushes the B onto the stack. And in, well, that's, this, that's the whole automaton for this grammar. And in the next video, I will show you how, those, how this automaton handles input strings.